Hey, Baldo, you're here with FX4. Well, the Easter Bunny has come and gone. And there's still snow in the forecast for this weekend. It's been a rough spring so far. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to get out on the water as much as I'd like. Actually, <laughs> not at all. Uh, I had a trip this past weekend that got canceled. So, in this video, we're going to go back to our Fishing 101 series. We're going to do our third installment of that series going over the baitcaster. So please follow along while I go over the features and benefits of the baitcaster. <laughs> That brings us to the baitcaster. Now, a lot of people shy away from this particular reel because of the backlashes it can cause and the headaches with the knots and bird's nests that you get from this spool. Because obviously, as you can see, this spool is, is not fixed. This spool is free to move. So basically, when you cast that bait out there and that bait stops, if this spool is not stopped, at that same time, that line is still going to end up getting pushed off instead of pulled like on the other reels. The other reels, the line is pulled off based on the bait's momentum. This particular reel, that line is, is pushed off based on starting the pulling from the bait casting off. But once it starts, it will not stop unless, unless you, you, you stop it with your thumb control or if you actually have it set correctly with your lure drag. Your lure drag is this particular one here. What this does is that's how much tension is applied to the spool and how free that spool is, is able to spin. Um, big bonus on the bait casters are line size. You can hold a lot more line, a lot heavier line on these, uh, on these, on these reels over the other ones. And a big one is gear ratio. Gear ratio comes in, uh, comes in handy when you're moving baits very fast uh, you can have a higher gear ratio on these so you're not really cranking hard like you would be on a spin cast or a spinning reel you don't need to crank so hard you also have the benefit of going down a gear ratio for your deep diving crankbaits where and and your bigger baits so that way it's not as much pressure on the actual reel to bring in those larger baits and, and, the, and those bigger fish uh, they actually say the the lower gear ratio, the better it is on the reel as far as hauling in bigger baits. The higher gear ratio is better on the user when bringing in baits such as buzz baits. Um, when you got to bring in that line real quick. Uh, this particular model is a 7 to 1 gear ratio. I use this uh, for top water. Uh, a lot of my flipping, flipping baits, my uh, frog setup, all have high gear ratio reels on them. Uh, don't be afraid of these reels. Um, I'll do a later video where I run you through how to tune these in and, and how to effectively cast them well once we start to get some, some better days out here and I, I'm able to get out on the water. I'll show you how to do that. Um, this particular one you have to buy based on your hand. This is a right-handed reel. Unlike the spinning, right hand is reeling on the right. Left hand would be reeling on the left. So. Uh, kind of throws people off, but this is a right-handed reel. Um, again, you know, don't be scared of them with practice. These are what the pros use. This is what all the guys out there on a daily grind catching those big fish, this is the reel that they're using. So don't be afraid of it. Uh, learn to use it. I'll help you. Um, in the next couple of days, or actually next couple of weeks, I'll put out a video on how to tune these in and how to, how to benefit fishing one of these out and the water here's your star drag what this is is just like the drag on the spinning reel and the spin cast reel that is how much pressure once the reel is engaged how much pull and resistance is on that particular spool so instead of an actual dragging system holding that line that drag system is actually applying pressure to this spool in order in order to allow that tension to to be pulled off or not. Thanks again everybody for watching this third installment of Fishing 101. Going over the basic features and benefits of a baitcasting reel. 
Please share this video with your friends. Hit that subscribe button below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Note in any comments on any upcoming material you would like me to cover in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you would like to see a video on how to minimize the backlashes on a particular backcast video, click on that link there in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. Until next time, here fishy fishy, see you on the water.